Hi everyone, this is Sarfraz from Aristotle Prep and we are looking at question number 30 from the OG13 RC chapter. In case you haven't understood this passage properly, please watch the video for question 26 in which I discuss the passage in great detail. So the question says, the author refers to service workers employed by manufacturers primarily in order to point out, so it is line number 23 that many service workers employed by manufacturers would fall under the industrial category. So the author mentioned it to show uh, that uh, uh, there's a problem with the US government's definition of services or something on those lines. A says, uh, to point out a type of worker not covered by the US government's uh, system of classifying occupations, no, this worker is definitely covered, but he could be covered incorrectly. B says, a flaw in the US government's definition of services could be, hold it. C says a factor that has influenced the growth of the service economy is absolutely wrong. A type of worker who is classified on the basis of work performed rather than on the basis of the company's final product. So this is exactly the opposite. So it's actually the worker is being classified on the basis of the final product and not on the basis of the work performed. So which is why D is wrong because D is saying the opposite of what the passage is saying. E says the diversity of the workers is absolutely wrong. So the answer definitely is the second one, B, because this is a problem with the US government definition of uh, services.